Today we're looking at the uh, France toilet paper oil cleaner installed on a GMC truck with a 396. This has been on here for several years and I've already taken the clamp off. On this one I've got the clamp with the knob where you can just keep tightening until the leak stops which is kind of nice. It's not a quick disconnect though. It doesn't have the over center lever. This one was made by RG Ray Corporation in uh, Buffalo Grove Illinois. And these come up sometimes on eBay. The truck sat for uh, a couple days now. So inside here is very dry, fortunately. And I noticed right off the bat, one, this never moved down to contact the screen here. And the cardboard tube probably made no seal here. And it might be a lot of the oil was just going around the toilet paper through the space between the cardboard tube and the aluminum tube. I have no way of telling other than I didn't get like a print here an impression made by this screen. Now something else that jumped out at me you might remember from my other videos a vertical dam in this area. This one seems to have a almost like a rubber seal here. I can't really perceive exactly what material that is but it's as if it's got a rubber seal here and it doesn't have that vertical dam you can see in my other videos. Also this tube bulges out at the bottom. It's a bigger diameter at the bottom than up here and I don't know how common that is either. Now I've got another video on the Volkswagen where we put a spacer into the toilet paper roll. I got the spacer from eBay. Now the smaller one kind of very loose fit inside the toilet paper roll and the larger one wouldn't fit at all in the Scott 1000 uh, toilet paper. So a buddy of mine turned this down for me so it does fit inside the toilet paper roll. Maybe just like that. But I've noticed already sliding this down on here it stops when it gets to that larger diameter which might be a handy feature if it stays if it stays on the base and I can slide the paper on and off of it that wouldn't be a bad thing but I do want to be sure that the paper can scoot all the way down create a seal here and press itself against the screen <laughs> excuse me so I'm not gonna pack it in the canister top as tightly as maybe I did in the past. So here we have the city recycling bag. Notice we've got the metal ring here. Big snap ring. We've got the bale to pull the, the roll out by and uh, again I judge this to be a too snug fit now. I'd rather have it slide freely and come down on that screen as I mentioned. So out it comes, very dry inside. It's been sitting for a couple days. So this guy goes into the recycling bag for the city to pick up. And as before, I'm going to unravel some layers here. Now someone in comments said that I just need to make a cone shape out of this against my knee. 
I didn't understand if the cone was supposed to point up here or point down. I'm not going to try the cone shape this time. But again, peeling off the uh, paper because I want this to slide pretty freely in what I call the canister top. Incidentally, I've got an hour meter on the truck and I try to change the toilet paper at a hundred hour intervals. Again, I'm going to err on the, on the side of a loose fit here because I want it to come down on the screen. Uh, I guess I might even call that too much that I took off, but maybe that's the story of my life. So I'm going to try again this uh, spacer to fill in that gap. I'm going to push it up a little ways because I don't want it to interfere with this coming down onto the, onto the screen. I can probably feel when it hits that bulge in the tube. Anyway, I'm just guessing that's a good initial position for it. Here comes the bale. And then the whole thing goes into the canister. Now this wire I read somewhere stops the oil from simply following the outside of the, the inside wall of the canister and skipping the, the filtering process. So I've been careful to always use one of these. I'm going to pre-position this clamp. In the neighborhood there. Here comes the filter and we make sure the bale goes down the center. And it drops right onto there. You know, I'm gonna see if I can put on my thinking cap here and Maybe visualize this a little better. We got the tube now closer to the end of the cardboard. I want to feel the tube hitting the expanded portion of the vertical tube on the filter base. I guess it's no surprise most of these videos, which is to say all of these videos are made in one shot. <clears throat> so here we go again, and again I want to sense that the tube is contact with this bulge here. So I think I I think it hit right there. Push down a little bit, get the clamp in there. Instead of one big lever I can throw, it's a number of turns on this knob. So for the first dozen miles or so, I'll be monitoring that for any leaks. And after that, I'm sure it'll be 
fine for the next hundred hours. Feels like I left something out that I wanted to point out, but if there is, perhaps I'll include it in the description of the video. So thanks, be sure and watch my other videos, especially the toilet paper filter related ones. And thanks again.